Okay, now I want to talk about keeping your Android development environment up to date. There are new releases to the Android tools that happen quite regularly. So Android Studio itself is something that you can always keep up to date, but on top of Android Studio we've got the SDK. Now the Android SDK has the different versions of the operating system, so the different APIs. Version 5, Lollipop. Version 6, Marshmallow. Nougat, Oreo. There's continually development work being done on the Android operating system and those are made available to us through the APIs. In addition to that, there are build tools, platform tools, updates to the emulators. So we want to be able to keep those things up to date. Whether we're building native Android apps or if we're building Cordova hybrid apps, we need to keep these things up to date. So we want to go into Android Studio I've got a project open here. I'm going to the Tools menu, and inside Android, I've got the SDK Manager right here. This is what I want to use to update the APIs and update the build tools. Now, I can get it here. If I've got a project open, I can go to Tools, Android, SDK Manager. Or, if I don't have a project open, so I'm going to close this project, this is the intro screen that we get where you can start a new Android Studio project and so on, open existing ones or recent ones. We can also, here, go into Configure. And here's the SDK Manager as well, so we can do that. If I go into that, I get the Settings menu. Down inside there, the Android SDK, inside System Settings, inside Appearance and Behavior. This is where you will find the latest versions of the operating system. and the tools. So we've got SDK platforms. These are the operating system versions, so the APIs. If I wanted to add Android 5.0 to this list, I would select that and I can go OK, which will download, install it. When it's finished, it closes. Or if I click Apply, then it's going to prompt me for the license and then it will download, but it'll leave this window open when it's done. Now this is just the top level view showing each one of them and shows where there's updates available. We can also say show package details. So inside each one of these APIs there are different APIs. So the Google APIs, you want to do the Google Play services, Google Maps, things like that. Those are the Google APIs. Uh, Android SDK, this is the bare minimum. This is the code that you need. And so we've got Android SDK uh, platform 25, 26, so if I scroll down we'll see there's the other ones and you can pick and choose what it is that you want. So there's system images, there's the Google APIs, all this stuff is in there that you can pick and choose what you want to install. Now we want to be installing for the latest versions, um, but bear in mind that when we get up to here, like API 27, currently nobody's using that. Android 8, probably less than 5% of the marketplace is using Android 8 right now. 7.1, getting to be a little bit more. 7.0, this is where the lion's share right now is. And 6 and 7, between those two, we've got the vast majority of the market covered. But backward compatibility, always important. Think about who you're building the application for. All right, so we have the different APIs. And then inside the build tools, the SDK tools, this is where we're going to look for updates as well. So the build tools, the emulator itself. So I've got the latest version of the emulator software here. SDK platform tools and tools, those are very important. Um, Haxum, this is for making your emulator run faster through virtual machines. And the support repository. So support repository, Haxum. SDK tools, platform tools, and the build tools. Those are the most important ones. Those are the ones that you really want to keep up to date all the time. Uh, play services. If you are using play services, uh, USB driver, so you want to be able to communicate. You plug your device in with the USB cable and want to be able to com communicate with it and install things from it. That's what the USB driver is done for or is used for. Okay, so inside the settings, Android SDK, SDK tools, SDK platforms, that's where you go to keep things up to date. And these menus are very, very similar on the, uh, the Mac OS side. On OS X, it's 
slightly different headings and so on, but basically the same tool that we're using here. All right, and that's it. So please keep yourself up to date with Android when doing development work for Android Native or for Cordova.